Well, hey there parents, we're in the studio again with Tracy and we're talking about life verses. So far we've covered two life verses for Christian parents to raise Christian kids and we've got just one more. Mm -hmm. So Tracy, what's our verse this time? Okay, 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Now this is one that we've used a lot with our kids, um, especially our son who's a little more emotional, uh, is kind of more the kid that sometimes approaches situations and would think, I'm not do, do I have what it takes to get this thing done? Mm -hmm. So that's been a verse that we've really used with him. And again, a great verse to memorize yourself as parents and then memorize with your kids that God has not given you a spirit of fear and timidity, right. but of one of power, love, and self-control that we don't have to approach life in situations and wonder, do I have what it takes? Or right. am I gonna be safe in this? To know that God can make our kids brave. Right. And to come back to that time and again, like I'm thinking about in our parenting with, with our daughter that would be afraid to go sleep over at someone's house. Mm -hmm. Like this was a good verse just to kind of bring to them, be like, we don't need to be afraid. God is with you and he gives you the spirit of that you can be brave. You don't have to be afraid of that situation. Or when your kid wants to try out for that new team, that they might be like, I don't know, I don't want to not make it, so I'd rather not try at all to come back to that verse and to right. say, no, God wants you to be brave and to step out and he'll give you what you need. Right. And even if the end result doesn't mean that you get on the team or whatever, right. that the point is that God in you wants you to be brave and powerful and not afraid and timid. Yeah, so one of the, one of the words that we use, especially with our son, is we say, don't shrink back. We do not want you to be the kind of a person who shrinks back. Like, step into challenges, mm -hmm. you know, be, be courageous, don't be fearful. And again, for different parents, you might have, uh, some, some of your kids might not have an issue with this mm -hmm. at all, but I think for most kids, self-confidence, stepping out is a major issue. And so for Christian kids, we should use this verse and encourage these kids, you know, obviously with, with good positive things, yeah. step out, do it. It's not about being the best at something. It's not about winning all the time. It's, it goes beyond that. It's no, it's having grit. It's having determination. It's being, it's being a go-getter right? because God wants go-getters. Right. He wants right? just to give a hundred percent of who you are to whatever you're doing. Right. Whether, whether that means you're the star or you're not the star that you give a hundred percent. Yes. That you don't leave anything, you know, off the field in terms like you right. just give everything you have. You know, and it also means even with self-control or with love, you know, for some of our kids, maybe they're critical, maybe they're impatient, maybe they want to be mean to other kids as their way to feel like they're a part of something to remind like, no, the spirit of God in you is one of love, that we need to love people, mm. self-control, that God doesn't give us a spirit that says, I have no ability to control my choices or my mm. attitude or my emotions. No, the spirit of self-control is in us. We have to choose to live by that. Right. That's good. So parents, this is, again, for us, this was a good one for our kids. This is your third life verse. Now, again, we'll put some links below for some kids and teen videos that you can, uh, that you can cover with your kids on this kind of a topic so that you're always talking about, listen, let's not be those kinds of people who shrink back. So again, this is our third life verse. If you haven't checked out the other two life verses for Christian parenting, We'll put links to those below as well. Use these resources, not just to strengthen yourself as parents, but use these resources to encourage your kids to move forward in their pursuit of God. And so we hope that you'll do that with these videos and we'll see you in the next one.